All right, thank you, Stephanie. Yeah. Proposals are due in a few weeks for a potential transportation system between the San Antonio International Airport and downtown. Reports say that Elon Musk interested in building a tunnel loop. Here. I'm intrigued. Tunnel loop. Yeah. Tell me more. What is this tunnel loop you speak of and can it work here? Our Samuel King joins us now to explain. Sam. Well, Steve and Myra will get to that in a moment. Of course, Elon Musk is building up major operations in Texas, especially up in Austin, including the upcoming move of Tesla's headquarters and hiring for his tunnel company. Musk promises that his tunnels can provide transportation at a lower cost than traditional methods. And he's been putting that to the test out in yeah. Las Vegas. Deep below the Las Vegas Convention Center lies what some call the future of transportation. The Las Vegas Convention Center loop is small, 1.7 miles with three stations. The boring company owned by Elon Musk began construction in November 2019 and the loop opened earlier this year. Last month, county officials signed off on a major expansion of the loop, which will include the Las Vegas Strip. The fact that we're the only place in the world that has this uh, is going to be uh, a lot of interest. And that interest extends here to San Antonio. And while officials can't say too much about it just yet, this document from the Alamo Regional Mobility Authority reads awfully like it's tailored for a Hyperloop or tunnels project between downtown and the airport. By going out to the private sector, it, it opens up the opportunities for what might be possible. Greg Griffin is an assistant planner and program leader for urban and regional planning at UTSA. He says there's a lot of questions about the plans, including the costs and potential environmental concerns that differ from Las Vegas. So, for instance, you know, we've got environmental features. We've got the Edwards Aquifer. Uh, to think about. VIA president and CEO Jeff Arndt is keeping an eye on the potential of the technology and is prepared to partner with whomever brings such a project to our region. Hyperloop technology is essentially and most effectively deployed when you're traveling over relatively long distance, right? A hyperloop between here and Austin with maybe a stop in New Braunfels and San Marcos, let's just say, for example, that's the kind of project that could make sense. In Las Vegas, the Boring Company carried the cost for the construction of that initial loop, about $50 million. Right now, of course, achieving the promise of fully autonomous high-speed vehicles is a few years away, or maybe even more than that, actually. The Teslas in the Vegas loop have drivers. Now, the proposals are due to the Alamo RMA by December 1st. The finalist is expected to be announced in February. Officials cannot comment, of course, until those bids are submitted.